Question 5 is about entropy. So entropy, so delta S or entropy is the entropy of the products, the things on the right hand side take away the entropy of the products of the reactants on the left hand side. So you need to work out the entropy of the right hand side, which is the entropy is 238 add water 189. And then take away the entropy of the reactants, which is 214. And I've got three moles of H2, so it's three lots of 131. So it's 427 take away 607 minus 180. And then it's in the units of entropy here, joules per Kelvin per mole. Okay, so that's my entropy there. Now then, it then needs you to work out... Um, delta g so that's what it's actually actually asking for you so it's asking for the gibbs free energy change delta g which is delta h minus t t delta s so i've got delta h here but that's in kilojoules per mole and my units of entropy in joules per mole so i'm going to get my joules per kelvin per mole into kilojoules so joules into kilojoules if i'm taking joules into kilojoules i divide by a thousand so now if I divide my 180 by 1000, it's minus 0 0.180 kilojoules per Kelvin per mole, because then that's going to match with my kilojoules for my delta H. So now delta G is delta H, which is minus 49. Take away uh, the temperature, which is 250, but that needs converted into Kelvin, because if you look here, I've got uh, units in Kelvin, Kelvin, so to convert 250 degrees C into Kelvin, add on 273, it's 523 Kelvin. So my T delta S so, um, is 253 multiplied by delta S, which is minus 0 0.180. So let's have, do a quick recap. So my delta G is delta H, which is minus 49. Take away temperature in Kelvin. 523 multiplied by delta s and i've got it in kilojoules per kelvin per mole to to match the kilojoules of the delta h um, and that is minus 49 take away minus 94.14 minus and minus is a plus so minus 49 add 94.14 it's 45.1 kilo, kilojoules per mole How do I know that it's kilojoules per mole? Well, delta H is in kilojoules per mole. Delta uh, S is in joules per Kelvin per mole per Kelvin. Kelvin to the minus one. So Kelvin's on the bottom and I've just multiplied by a Kelvin. So I've got temperature is a Kelvin multiplied by delta S, which is joules divided by Kelvin divided by mole. So the two Kelvins cancel. So that becomes Uh, kilojoules per mole so my answer is in kilojoules per mole calculate a value for the temperature when the reaction becomes feasible well uh, feasible when delta g is zero so delta g is delta h minus t delta s so zero so zero delta g is when it's feasible equals delta h minus t delta s i'll take minus t delta s across the other side so it becomes positive so t delta s equals delta h so if delta H equals T delta S, then um, I've got to work out the temperature. So I'm trying to get temperature on, on its own. So I divide by both sides by delta S. So T equals, um, so I take delta S onto the bottom, onto the other side, or divide both sides by delta S. T is delta H divided by delta S. So delta H is minus 49. Delta S is minus 0 0.180. So my Temperature is minus 49 divided by minus 0.180 is 272 and it's in Kelvin. Gaseous methanol from this reaction is liquefied. Draw a diagram to show two moles of methanol. So methanol is meth CH3OH, CH3OH, and so I've drawn two CH3OH. Um, now my oxygen has got two bonding pairs, the H and the CH3. 
and it's got two lone pairs because oxygen's in group six, so one one in the one in each bonding pairs leaves four electrons left over, two lone pairs. Now I've drawn two molecules, and I've drawn um, I've drawn the, the the bonding pairs as these sort of lobe shape, but you could just put a, a pair of electron, a pair of electrons there, and a pair of electrons here. You got to draw the pair of electrons in because um, it's the pair of electrons here that attack uh, that attract with a hydrogen bond to um, the delta uh, delta plus on the H. So remember, you've got a hydrogen bond here, you've got a hydrogen bond into an oxygen. Anytime you have a hydrogen bond to an oxygen or a nitrogen or a fluorine, then the oxygen is very much more electronegative than the, the hydrogen, and so the hydrogen ends up with a delta plus. And the, uh, the O, or rather the lone pair of electrons on the O, uh, attract the delta plus and you line it up like this the um, the lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen attract uh, the hydrogen and the lone pairs of electrons on the other oxygen are pushed the other way so there's a dotted line to show an intermolecular hydrogen bond between the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen and a hydrogen of another molecule and you line them up in this way with um, with the hydrogen in the middle so oxygen hydrogen oxygen because the lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen repel the lone pairs of electrons on the other oxygen as far as they can go in a linear sort of fashion um, explain why methanol is so easy to liquefy because it's got hydrogen bonds so it's got hydrogen bonds which are strong intermolecular bonds so it's more likely to be a liquid than a gas